Alright guys, welcome back to the sesh. Today we're going to get into some games and uh, sesh on a few options here. I've got some strawberry candy number 8, I believe it said it is. Number 8 uh, from Proper. This is a really good mix. I like this one. Um, and then I've also got some GMO cookies from Dark Horse. Some fairly solid stuff. It's not, you know, amazing or anything, but it's cool. And then I also have this little buoyant bob cartridge that we're gonna puff on as well as I'm sitting here playing and stuff. So that is the game plan for today. I'm gonna go ahead and get the banger all hot and ready and then we'll go ahead and take a dab and then hopefully get into the game pretty soon. I am downloading Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition so we are going to play that. Um, and yeah I've actually I've never played the Ultimate Edition of Fallout New Vegas. It is one of easily one of my favorite video games, but I have not played through the like extended content and stuff. I haven't ever really spent the money on it. So um, the Ultimate Edition is what's available on Game Pass. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play that. I didn't even realize it was the Ultimate Edition on Game Pass, or else I would have played through the DLC a little bit sooner but uh we're gonna start this up I uh I just knew I would need some other game you know because you know next week going forward we're leaving spooky season so Thursdays won't necessarily be uh scary streams anymore so uh yeah just trying to add something else to the rotation so we have some variants going so uh yeah I'm gonna get this dab ready and then uh we'll have some fun all right we're going in at about 5 30 turn this a little bit so it's a little bit more centered there you go this is the last of this stuff too so thought i'd give you a nice shot of it melt so here we go cheers I think I hesitated a little bit <clears throat> on the drop on that one. I don't think it was as warm as I wanted it to be. But that's okay. We'll hit it with a little reheat right here. All right, so that's good to go. Uh, vape that right up. You can see nice light film on there. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this cleaned up and then we'll jump into some Fallout New Vegas. Let's start new. I need to set the um, stream info.
There's the bastard. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Mercenary pack items added to inventory. I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Tribal pack items. Caravan pack items. This must have to do with all the uh, DLC stuff. Classic pack items. Fuck, I'm gonna be over encumbered by the time I leave this goddamn house. Whoa, easy there, easy. Don't tell me what to do. Hold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> you sure about that? Cletus? Hmm. Cletus? Cletus? I just type Cletus because he looks like Cletus. <laughs> Um, what should the courier's name be?
the dude. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Uh, Paul, uh -huh. a second too late. Welcome to Good Springs. Literally, no, you could have said I any name and I would have gone with it. But I had to go <laughs> rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? <laughs> no. Okay. We're going with the dude. Oh, but it's a chick. <laughs> uh, well, just, just, just white. That's fine. Caucasian. Sure. No, it's okay, because I'm going to make her, like, blue or something. Um, yep. Great. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. <laughs> Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Yeah, what do you mean all oh, run around? What do you mean take it slow? I ain't we'll taking it right slow. Okay. Um Make him a little strong. Perception can be normal. Um, a little endurance boost. A little charisma, a little intelligence. And a little luck. We'll do a well-rounded character and then build from there, I think. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big one and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still bad. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Uh, I thought build, but, um, I guess renovate is closest to build. Dream, probably. Bandit. Light. Dark. Mother. Mother. <laughs> Human shield. Or caretaker, I guess. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Mm. Kind of middle of the road on that I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Definitely disagree with that. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree there. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Most of the time. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? <clears throat> Tell me what you see. Lamp. Uh... Fucking like none of these. Uh, shadow okay. in a doorway. How about this one? That looks more like a shadow in a doorway to me. <laughs> uh, it's some piece of space age technology, a ship at sea. I like that one. Last one. There's two old men high fiving. That's 
all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. I love that See, after all that he's just like, yeah, hey, you decide. You fucking choose. Whatever. Nah, definitely not melee. Uh, definitely not sneak either. Science? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that one. Lockpick. Uh... Medicine. Should we do science or speech? Lockpick, science, and speech, maybe? There is a there is a perk where I can tag one more. I could come in and retire and tag medicine or repair. Speech and science and lockpick. Uh Science isn't useful until later, so maybe not that one. Explosives would be useful at the beginning because we can convince the dude to let us do the thing. Speech is useful. Lockpick is always useful. Hmm. Do we really need his explosives though? Probably not. Probably not. I think I'll go with lockpick, medicine, and speech. Cool. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. What? You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Choose up to two traits or none. Well, definitely Wild Wasteland. That's a certainty. Um, let's see. No, that'd be awful. You're skilled but not experienced. You gain plus five points to every skill, but you suffer negative 10% from experience gained from now on. So it's slightly harder to level up, but I get an immediate plus five points to every skill. Honestly, sure. Yeah, you know what? Fine. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Yeah. I feel like that was a good choice. Um, definitely stealing this guy's shit. Give me all of that, thanks. All right. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. A platinum chip, they you call say? It a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, Alright, Doc. Thank you. Hardcore mode? Mmm, probably not on this one. No thanks. <laughs> Oh boy. Cheyenne, stay. Yeah, teach me some yeah, shit, lady. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Teach me. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Probably. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. 
My brain is scrambled. Oh, 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 Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Mm hmm. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, don't do that. Oh, you're full of shit. That's the right idea. Go. Look down the site. Start crouching down and staying. Next shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? You know, I don't really need the tutorial, Follow but me. I enjoy doing it. Down to the southeast a short ways. Just a little target practice. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. But yep, watch this. Wow. That sucked. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Hey, hey, there they come. Got him. <laughs> oh. Damn, lady. Why are you running? Come on. Oh, get over there, save the lady. Nope, she's dead. Nope. Dead. Oh yeah, they killed her. I don't need that, I don't think. We didn't save her, Sonny. We didn't save her. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's sure a part of right. life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure, bring All right, it. then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. <laughs> Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander. Bring those on back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oop. All I need... is some roots. Oh shit, where is it? There it is. Oh, -ho. yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. That was perfect. This thing fucking rips. All right, there's some bees up here too, or flies, whatever. One more, one more, let's go. Boop. Got him. Okay. Nice. Get the snow globe. I might end up having to look up a guide to see where all the snow globes are, because I don't really know where all of them are from memory, anyways. 
I was really serious about bobbleheads in 3, but the snow globes in this one just don't matter to me that much. I don't know, I just don't care. <laughs> the devil's gullet. Devil's gullet. Ugh. There is some stuff down here. Not a whole lot. Is that a star bottle cap? It is. Sunset slash Barilla star bottle cap. That was in celebration. I do realize I've wasted my ammo. Boo. To that yep, give it a try, give it a try, I will. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredient. Well, I'm heading back now. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to- Yeah, sure, I'll say hi. I'll go say what's up to Trudy. Can't make anything else. Where is he? Here he is. It's gonna be in a panic. Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please. Oh, is She's she? Going to die. Oh, no. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. I'll see what I can do. He's gonna try and kill us. He's going to try and kill us. Take all that. Make sure I disarm these things and don't step on them. Ooh. Creepy. I'll take the camera. Bonk. A body. Don't think that will have anything with it, though. All right, now that guy should show up any moment now, unless he's dead somewhere. Nope, there he is. Sorry, I tricked you. I should have reloaded. Gotcha. Howdy. I'm done being nice. What do you want? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. Would serve these idiots. some people burn some hmm. yeah. 
I can't wait to kill them. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Well, wow. where's Ringo He's now? He's up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. Would he it be murder? He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Would it be murder or self-defense? I think Some of the others, like Sonny, I think this is self-defense at this point. If he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. The powder gangers. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yeah. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay. Well. I guess that's enough about that. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent... Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers... Yeah, fuck the powder gangers. I don't care. Don't know. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. What? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks... It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. Yeah, it is suspicious. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. I... Probably don't need to know anything else. I'm sure I've got. Uh, maybe. No, actually, you don't have any stim packs at all. There you go. Fixed your radio, lady. Where are you going? Hey, 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 hey. Feeling thirsty? There you go. Yeah, I heard it. Not at all. Now, how about spending? Haha, <laughs> yeah, give me the extra Be careful. money. Okay. Let's see here. Guess I'll go up and have a little chat with our guy Ringo up here. That's close enough. I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just we got. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I... I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle... I'm gonna lay low for his... We... Yeah, we're gonna ask around, see if we... can... Uh, manipulate these people into uh, being on your team. It's gonna work. It's gonna work because my stats are good. Give it a good eight hours. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. Malcolm Holmes. A raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm. Already? Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. 
Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. I have one bottle cap. It started off innocently enough. <coughs> I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special There's about him then? Wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Where can I find more of them? Place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, some say it other than. No problem. Um, so we're for sure killing this dude, right? Like, let me just save. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, took him out. One shot. Nobody knew. He had six of them. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hi. Hey. Hi there. Sticking around. Yeah, let's Say help no Ringo. More. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. If you could convince Trudy to join us, I know. Fine. Cool. I'm gonna do all of it. Where are they at? You looking to buy some supplies? Now, you may. Take it easy now. Howdy. There you go. That was easy enough. Now we gotta get Hello. Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe? I was planning on sitting this one out. There we go. Thank you. Welcome back. I had hope you wouldn't need to come. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Thanks, Doc. Got some stem packs and doctor bags. Heck yeah. All right. I think we're about ready. So what's going on? All right. I Time to look alive. At least six. Oh, I'll be set up. Let's go. Game time. What should I do? Let's, uh... <clears throat> Shoot some grenades at him, I think. Well, that didn't get anywhere near close enough. Don't get too close. Oh no. Okay, 
okay they like me powder gangers hate me they hate me because they hate me bonk 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 Joe Cobb, hey, you're the man I was looking for. Bunk, 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 All right. Here, hold on. I guess I'm special. For Joe Cobb. For Mr. Joe Cobb. The man himself. I got one right for your forehead. There you go. Special delivery. Caravan deck. Cool. Malcolm Holmes! Oh yeah, I killed him. <laughs> okay. Did we lose anybody? Aside from this one guy? We did, we lost Ringo. That's unfortunate. We were fighting for Ringo and we lost him. That's kind of sad. Hello. But... I'm glad that business... All right, that's good. Guess we're pretty much done with Good Springs here. Let's, uh, we can explore a little bit. Let's go s check out the, um, the robot's house. I think he's got stuff in there, some stuff and things happening. So we might be able to, like, get some goodies out of there before we head out. Victor. I've got to search through your things. Make sure I can trust you. There's a weapon repair kit, that's useful. Hmm. Not too much going on in here. All right, let's head to Prim. Don't hey, talk to me. You well, you're weak. I'm gonna go in there and save all those people. Mm. Just stay out of my fucking way. And you're gonna find out what it looks like to be a hero, and you're, you, it's not gonna be you. Mr. Army Man. It's gonna be me, a random stranger. With a 10 millimeter. Okay, so these are this is my delivery order. This is the other one. Four of six. Two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. Where'd the other bad guy go? Did he just take off? I've got you now. 
He went inside. I found him. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. I repair with parts. I need three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. So I have... Scrap electronics. I need one more scrap metal and a sensor module, or a couple sensor modules. I have fission batteries. That's what I picked up. Um, so I can, if I want to be a little sneaky little asshole, I can take that. I can take that. So I've got plenty of scrap metal now. Alright, well let's introduce ourselves to the people of this town and then I think that'll wrap it up for today. As far as the game goes anyways. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with well, the Mojave I don't Express. Got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all... Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping... He may have heard... No, let Courier 6... No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. Don't think I have any more questions. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were called powder gangers. wonder if he has any since... Nope. Get a scrap electronics. We'll take that. Alright, so that's going to do it for the first episode of Fallout. So we're going to back on out of here. We're about 10 minutes away from 420, so I'm going to start prepping for that. We'll take a dab, and that'll be it for today. Alright, we got about 30 seconds. We're sitting at about 700 degrees, so we're probably going to go in a few seconds after 420. That's okay. 556. Alright, here we go. Cheers.
always with the sugar. I need to just not buy sugar. There's always at least a couple little pieces that just don't want to melt. They do not want to adhere to the glass and get off of the fucking tool. Oh well. That was good. That was solid. Get a little bit more heat here. A little bit more heat here. Alright, that is good to go. Got that all vaporized up nicely. So, thank you all so much for joining me in today's sesh and gaming stream and highlight video if you're watching from YouTube. And of course, if you're watching from YouTube, watching from YouTube, I always appreciate seeing the likes and all your comments and anything you may have to add. Uh, appreciate all the interactions on there and... Um, yeah, if you're watching until the end, thank you so much. And if you're new and watching to the end, you are extra special. Uh, thank you so very, very much for being here. Uh, I appreciate you so very much. And um, yeah, I uh, I post actually reviews on YouTube on Mondays. Randomized assortment of videos on Wednesdays. Could be a seshcast, could be a secondary review, could be a cooking video, a munchies video, any number of things. Um and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I stream just like this from 2 to about 4.25, 4.30 or so. And um, yeah, I post the highlight videos on YouTube on Fridays. So that's that. That is everything. So thank you again for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.